Okay, so that's a bit dramatic. With this rocket design, I was using the Estes short round rocket as a starting point. I didn't like the engine mounting system, so this was the first thing I tried to resolve. The metal clamp system works well, but tends to deform the light cardboard engine housing. It just seemed like an extra detail that I wanted to avoid. And I wanted to print the whole thing without needing other materials. The key issue was controlling the weight of the rocket. This model weighs about 20 grams, which comes in at about 28 grams when you add the engine. Recommended maximum liftoff weight is 57 grams for the A34T engine I'm using. I experimented with what you might call a push fit design to make things simple. I figured that I could design something that was tight enough to hold the engine and easy enough to remove after the flight. This design was already quite heavy. It's no wonder the whole rocket was so heavy. This is the Type 2 design, which tried to push the size and weight limits. This is 37 grams, and with the engine comes in at about 45 grams. That's still 12 grams under the maximum limit. This version of the same rocket has a slightly different push fit design, but is even heavier at just under 60 grams for the rocket and the engine combined. So one a fair bit under the maximum liftoff weight and one just a little bit over. So how do they fly? I discovered that the maximum liftoff weight is actually correct. The three versions shown here all lift off, but they're too heavy to fly straight and they begin to tumble quickly. No chance for a good flight path to allow for a successful parachute or recovery stream of deployment. This one on the right came the closest, but still not a great result. So the main takeaway from this experiment, maximum liftoff weight does not equal ideal flying weight. That led to lighter designs. This is the Elon A4. The engine housing uses a much simpler push fit design. The engine pushes in with a tight fit and can be easily removed with pliers. With 3D printing, you can print to very fine tolerances to allow this. Broader tail fins this time, and much thinner, at one millimeter thickness, and still surprisingly strong. This one is fitted with a recovery streamer and is ready to fly. The weight comes in at 28 grams, or about 36 grams with the engine. That's only about 10 grams more than the SD's short round, and 21 grams less than the maximum liftoff weight. So the finished weight is around 60% of the maximum liftoff weight. I think I'll have more success with this design, and we'll see that in the next video when we launch the Elon A4. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.